to me. Bharat is actually a belief and an attitude. Bharat has a economic dimension, it has a political meaning, it has cultural, social, uh, I would say even personal expressions. To me the term Bharat means don't let other people define you, try and define yourself. If you are Bharat, you have to be Atmanirbhar and if you are Atmanirbhar, you will be Bharat. Many of you also know, uh, there's been a little bit of a debate about the word Bharat. Okay. So some people have taken it as a linguistic debate, some people have taken it as a political debate. I want to give you my two bits worth. To me, Bharat is actually a belief and an attitude. For me, Bharat has an economic dimension, it has a political meaning, it has cultural, social, uh, I would say even personal expressions. So let me, let me explain to you what I mean. At the end of the day, to me the term Bharat means don't let other people define you, try and define yourself. That it has to come from itself because that very term Bharat which is so laden with symbolism actually captures, you know, it, it captures uh, centuries of what we are all about as a people. Now it's economic, its economic dimensions are there staring you in the face. And the most prominent is Atma Nirbhar Bharat. If you are Bharat, you have to be Atma Nirbhar. And if you are Atma Nirbhar, you will be Bharat. So, I, I say this at the premier uh, premier gathering, premier organization of the producers of this country. That if we are heading towards Viksit Bharat, that Viksit Bharat has to be an Atmanirbhar Bharat. It has to be a Bharat where we will engage with the world confidently, but not a Bharat where we will engage at the world to the cost of our own people. I think that to me is actually a conceptual basis of what Bharat is about and what Atmanirbhar Bharat is about.